A landmark building along the Sea Sky Highway is turning 100 years old this year. The Britannia Mining Museum holds a century of the area's mining history, and soon it will hold one of the area's biggest and most colorful bashes. Old Town New Queens is the signature event to mark Pride Month in Squamish, and organizers Derek Jang and Sativa the Diva are here to tell us more. So, Derek, what is Old Town's New Queens? Well, Old Town New Queens is a pride celebration that takes place inside that historic mill building. And I really feel like the germ for this event began when I first interviewed at the Mine Museum okay. in the fall of 2020. Okay. So this was, of course, a pretty tough time for a lot of us. Lockdowns, restrictions, hard to get FaceTime, and especially for 2S LGBTQ plus folks, hard to get time with our chosen families. Yeah. And I remember walking into that building and thinking to myself, I should be focused on industrial history or the machinery that was in here. But all I could think was, it's like walking into a music video. <laughs> <laughs> it's Janet Jackson, Rhythm Nation. It's Absolutely. Madonna, express yourself. Yeah, when the world is ready for it, I know exactly what we're going to do here. This is what we need. <laughs> <laughs> do you think is the world ready? Like, how, how has the town sort of responded to this event and, and, and to everything that's going to be going on? Well, I think that it's been really exciting to surprise people, because yeah. when you hear mining, when you hear a relatively small, kind of further from the city's community, you don't often think about the level of sparkle that we were able to deliver. And you are bringing a little bit of sparkle, sparkle today. I'd like to acknowledge that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, though, you know, sir, both of you, what do you think this will bring to the town of Squamish? What can this do other than the obvious? Um, I think any time that we can create space in smaller towns throughout BC or yeah. throughout Canada, any time that we can kind of create space that is inclusive for everyone and where people can come and just celebrate being yourself and being um, fierce and incredible and and um, having that kind of that excitement and that yeah. body positivity um, is really cool. And so I think for Squamish, it's so needed and um, definitely adds so much to the community. And, and how did you get involved? So tell us about your involvement and, you know, Tell us about Sativa the Diva. Absolutely. So I started doing drag right before COVID happened. Okay. Um, we, I was working on an event, a charity event. So um, in Squamish, there hadn't really been any drag queens that had popped up. I'd lived no. there for quite a few years. And so I decided, after working with Pride Squamish for quite a while, that um, we needed some drag here in Squamish. And it was a perfect way to kind of, like, get into it. And then COVID hit. So I had lots of time to practice. Yep and kind of decide what works for me and what I want to do and how I want to curate myself into a performer. And then as soon as COVID was done, we were all for it, right back into it and trying to do as much as possible. And so it's now been about two years um, and we're hosting all the events in Squamish. It's been lots. Oh, I love that. And so what can we expect at the show? What are we going to see, Derek? You the can... unexpected. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Exactly. Minds will be blown. Well, absolutely. <laughs> and, you know, I really feel like our museum talks about uh, industrial history, technology, yeah. these subject matters that we think of as having a really hard, masculine edge. I love being able to turn that energy on its head and yeah. reinterpret it through pop songs that we know and love, through dance numbers, through amazing costumes and makeup, and just bring the community together to tell the story of the 100 years of the mill in maybe a little campier and maybe more of a silly way than we might in our normal day-to-day -day underground tours. Oh, I love that. And, and who are some of the other performers that people will be able to see there? Who's going to be joining you on stage or, or doing their we own performances? We have eight other performers with us this year, which is incredible. Last year, we had three others besides myself. Oh, wow. Um, and so it's definitely getting bigger this year for sure. We've got acts like Homo Hardware. We've got Dust Queen. Who else now, we got, Derek? Oh, joining us from the amazing East Van, Vancouver scene, we've got Bella Donovan Shade, Dolly, Pia Little. Nice. Love that name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as well as Flem Fatale. I'm really excited Another to see what Another good one. Nice. <laughs> and also joining us from Squamish, we've got Made in Wonderland, representing for the Tantalus Collective. Oh, which nice. is really exciting. It's a small group um, with Quest University that has been created over the last few years, um, where students and um, individuals at the school are able to kind of learn drag and perform, um, which is a really cool thing. Oh, I love that. And yeah. I, I'm assuming this is a very quiet state affair, or will it be going all into the night? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going to be a uh, an event that runs until about 9.30 p.m., okay. all goes according to plan. Okay. It is going to be a dry event, and we feel that it's important to have some spaces where 
lot, all members of the family can feel Absolutely. safe coming Absolutely. out to participate Absolutely. and enjoy. Uh, but. I think it's still absolutely going to be making a lot of noise. Uh, last sure. year, the vibe was so amazing to see people coming out, celebrating, and just really changing the energy that you would typically find at a museum. Oh, and I'm sure people will want to be going now to see you guys. So how do they get oh, tickets? Absolutely. How do, they, how do they get there? You can check out our website, BritanniaMindMuseum.ca. Uh, our recommendation is to reserve tickets online as it's possible the event may sell out. And all the details uh, can be found on that website, as well as some links to our fabulous cast list. And if you want a quicker way, you can just follow me on Instagram, Sativa the Diva, and the link is in the bio. <laughs> or Wonderful. at Britannia Mind Museum on all platforms. <laughs> no excuse, they know how to find you. Thank you so much both for coming in. You're just amazing guests, so I oh, really thank appreciate you. it. And good luck with the event. Thank you so much for having us, Amy.